Good afternoon. New day in the shop. New project at hand. It's no secret here that this place is a giant mess. I'm unorganized. Obviously, it's been a little over a year now, a little longer than that actually, that I've actually been in the shop. I kind of got everything in here, got up and going, and I've made some changes along the way. Well, today is another day of change. This back wall over here with these two workbenches, I put those in with the idea of, I'll work on those benches, I'll utilize that space, it'll make sense. All they've become is a catch-all. So today, I wanna to take and move those benches out, and I've bought another section of pallet racking, so I'll be able to shelf items, get some things off the floor, get some things on the shelves, organize this place a little bit better so I'm not tripping over all of these bits and pieces. One of the benches will stay here, I'll move it to the other side of the shop, and one of the benches will actually go to my house and sit in my garage there while I'll use it for a workspace in that garage as well. So what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna time lapse this whole madness, uh, show you the process of what I'm doing, what I'm taking out, what I'm moving around, all the things leaving the shop for the time being, and then coming back and then being reorganized. I'll show you the pallet racking that I've bought. I bought it from a company called Bay Equipment. They're out of Holland, Michigan. So if you're looking for pallet racking, they've got, I mean, any size and shape that you possibly could want and just about any quantity. If you want it six, eight feet, 10, 12, 20, 30 feet, whatever, they've got it all, including the cross beams and the wire decking and other storage solutions. I'll go ahead and link their description and their website in the comment section below. So if you're looking for that, you can check them out. Anyway, let's time lapse this thing and get this project started. Unfortunately, I'm at a stopping point for the day. When I measured my boards for the new pallet racking, I guess I screwed that up. It was measured twice, cut once. I think it's measured twice, cut twice, because unfortunately my measurements and what I wrote down was not right. So I'm an inch too wide on the boards that need to set in on the pallet rack. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go back to the house with the boards, cut them down, and then finish this project tomorrow. I'm out of time for the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack everything back into the shop and get myself to a good stopping point. Good morning, friends. Finishing up the project from yesterday, I kind of ran out of time, and unfortunately the uh, boards I had made for the pallet rack didn't fit. So I had to go back to the house, get the table saw all out, get everything cut to size, and then I did come back later on in the evening, put everything on the shelves, and did a little organization here. Now this project isn't finished by any means, but I figured I'd kind of show you where I'm at with things and give you a look at what it is now and how the shop is. So obviously from this side, you can see I've got my toolboxes and here was kind of a catch-all area too. So I have set up a workbench here. Obviously I need to clean that off and make that usable. Then I've got another workspace. I'm thinking of putting my wheel truing stand here. I think that's a good spot for it. And then from there, on this side, I still have a mess here. That work table there is gonna go back to my house and be in the garage there, and I'll use that there. One of the things I'm most excited about is this pallet rack section. Now it's six foot high and eight feet long by two feet deep. And I only have three shelves for now. I think that's gonna be a good space for me. I have wheels and tires on the bottom, some of my engines over there, some of the other engines up here for now, uh, my battery charging station is still in the corner here, and then I have my 48WL parts and some miscellaneous parts on the end there. I am thinking of putting the shelf that I took down from there above my wheel and tire station here so I can house a few more things up there, and I may put something in this corner here too. I'm not exactly sure. I do have enough room here for one more section of pallet racking, but it does get pretty tight next to the balancer there. So I don't think I wanna do that. 
I had thought about moving this workbench over into this corner in front of that door. This door I do not use at all. It's an escape door, essentially. I do plan to wall that off at some point in time because I'm never going to use it. But then I'm not sure where I would put the rest of the items that are here. So I've got my press and I've got you know some wheels and tires and some miscellaneous things around yet. And obviously I need to organize a little more. But you know when you look at the shop, it gives it a lot more space. I know this room is not that big and my workspace is not huge. So I'm trying to maximize everything I have. I know I've got a lot of projects going on. Obviously, as I cycle things out, that will leave me with empty spaces. But then I'll be able to put more things in. I do have a giant load of parts coming this Saturday that I'm picking up. And I will be unloading those this week. So I'll show you guys those soon enough. Anyway, I kind of wanted to show you where the project was at at this point. I really wanted to show off that section of pallet racking and show you what I did with it and how it made the space look a lot bigger. It does help me to be a little bit more organized and I'm very pleased with that product. The rails on the shelf, I think they hold like 2,800 pounds per rail. So essentially, if I had the space, I could put a motorcycle on there. I'm never going to do that, not in this shop. Uh, future possibilities for something like that. I mean, I know that's industrial pallet racking. I probably didn't need anything that heavy, but I like knowing that if I want to stack it full of engines that I don't have to worry about the weight. You know, some of these products that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever, they're rated for, you know, pretty high amounts, 1,000 pounds a shelf or something like that. But I feel like I could overload that really quickly with some of these parts, and I didn't want to do that. Well, friends, that's it for me today. I just kind of wanted to show you my newest project. I'm getting ready to clean up the rest of the space here, getting ready to pull some parts. And then, of course, this weekend, Saturday morning, I'm leaving to pick up a giant lot. So stay tuned for that. I'll film some of that, and I'll show you guys uh, what I pick up in my shorts feed. And, of course, I'll produce a video on that so you can kind of go through everything with me and see what I've got. As always, friends, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button. I need the subscriptions. I'm close to 1,000 subscriptions right now. I'm at like 990. So 10 more would get me to that 1,000 mark, which would be super awesome. So if you can help me out and hit that subscribe button or share with your friends to get them to subscribe, I would truly appreciate it. As always, I appreciate you all. Take care. We'll catch you next time.